My name is Grace Drew Miller, and I'm going to answer a few questions. Wow. Well, let me count the ways. <clears throat> ASPB has helped me so much since grad school, my postdoc, and the many universities I've taught at. It was a great place to network. It's where I learned about grant writing, met some NSF, NSF folks, and eventually was put on uh, some review panels and then was able to write my first successful grant. It all started at an ASPB meeting. It's helped me with teaching. I teach at a primarily undergraduate institution and they have uh, PUI workshops and just teaching workshops in general. And I've learned a lot from that. I've been mentored by other members of ASPB and been encouraged by them. <laughs> I found many collaborators throughout these 20 some years of being in ASPB, including collaboration with women from five other universities on <clears throat> working on a paper. It's really a great place for me to take my undergraduate research students to present their posters, to meet other scientists, and for me, a great place to learn what's going on in my field and to learn and to exchange ideas. So that is just some of the reasons why people should join ASPB. Well, um, one of the things I enjoy is I help undergraduates learn about the world of plant biology, get excited about it, how important it is to the whole world of science, and also to help them with undergraduate research. Now I have moved into administration after 28 years of teaching. I still continue to teach, which I love, but the administrative part has also excited me because I feel like I can help motivate, encourage, and empower other people to get their job done, especially younger faculty, younger women faculty that are joining, joining the sciences. Well, maybe there's no really uh, answer to that in the sense that is there really a balance of work and life? I heard some woman being interviewed who said, uh, maybe there isn't. Maybe sometimes in life, different, depending on your stage in life, that maybe you would have more of work and less of life or more of life or less of work, depending on whether if you are just giving birth to a child, you're going to have to have more time with home stuff and maybe a little bit less time with the research. But these are just stages of our career and not one thing is probably going to be the same situation throughout our entire uh, career. Uh, for example, <clears throat> there might be a time when you're up for rank and tenure promotion that there is going to be a tip of that balance towards a lot more work in the lab and in writing. So work-life balance is a complicated issue. We all deal with it, men and women, uh, <clears throat> in every part of our career, even the ones who don't work outside the home, work-life balance is all about us getting the right amount of rest, respite, restoration, so that we can actually do our main jobs well. It helped, of course, that I had a husband who was very supportive of my career and uh, we were great partners in raising our two children. Well, first of all, I'm on the Women in Plant Biology Committee for the ASPB, and we are working hard to offer workshops, speakers, webinars, um, to help women in plant biology to be able to have professional development and to talk and to have a place, a forum for different topics, and in fact, a great place for us to do some mentoring. Um, so I hope that this is a little bit uh, of some wisdom uh, that you can think about. And um, I love supporting women in plant biology and I hope you will too.